Hey guys, Joster here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So this time I have another video with this beautiful TV. So this is the Hisense H8G. This is a 4K HDR Quantum Dot TV from 2020. So in my previous video, I show you some of the features this TV has, especially for example, the operating system it has an Android operating system. I also show you some of the ports that this TV has in the back and also some of the measurements from the stand. So if you want, if you guys want to know more about that, I suggest you to check out the previous video. Now I'm going to connect this TV with my Xbox One X and test some of the games that you guys suggested and show you how this performs and how it works, and how it looks with different settings, SDR and HDR. So welcome to the channel. I'm Joster and let's do this. All right, guys, so first let's jump into the settings from the Xbox. Let's go into the settings and let's go into TV and display options. Right here, the resolution, of course, is going to be 4K. This is what I want to use. Let's check out 4K TV details and I got all the green check marks. By the way, guys, if you see this horizontal lines across the TV, that is from my camera. You will not see those on the TV, all right? So let's go over here to video modes and we have a low 50 hertz, 24 hertz. Unfortunately, this TV doesn't have auto login latency or variable refresh rate, but it does have Dolby Vision and HDR10 and also, of course, 4K. So remember, this TV is an HDMI 2.0. You are still limited to that. And also this TV is has a 60 hertz panel, so you won't have any of those uh, awesome 120 hertz panel. It does have interpolation, but it works better with uh, movies and sports. In gaming, I do not suggest to use that. So now let's go real quick to the TV settings. I know some of you guys want to know what settings the offers. Let's go over here, picture, and I am using game mode because it offers the lowest input lag. Now, I'm not exactly 100% sure what is the input lag on these new models. I don't have any tool to measure it just yet. I've been playing a lot of games, but it feels great. So I'm assuming it's between 16 milliseconds and 20 milliseconds between that range of input lag, which is really good for a TV. Now over here, like I said, I'm using game, game mode. This is what I like to use. And then these are the settings that I'm using. Contrast, I have it at 65, brightness at 50, color at 55, then sharpness is usually at 10, the value, but I reduce it to five. I feel like it looks great on five. I don't, you don't need much bright, uh, sharpness in this beautiful looking games. Now over here, HDMI 2.0 format, you must go here and enhance it. You have the option of standard and enhanced format. Make sure you turn this to enhanced format. Otherwise you won't be getting 4K 60 and HDR. All right, very important. So over here, let's go into advanced, advanced settings color temperature I have this one in medium although I usually like mid low which is kind of like warm one in uh, other TVs like Samsung but I feel like mid low looks great colors look very very vibrant and punchy I like mid medium all right let's go or do over here motion clearness I don't like this I turn it off make sure that you don't well it is up to you but I turn this off I don't like that all these other uh, enhancements are going to be off limits because of course you want the lowest input light correct all right so this is the active contrast now some people say that you're not supposed to use that i don't know if you guys noticed it but this but when i turn it off i feel like colors get a little flat they look a little washed out now when i turn it on high it, they look beautiful they look they have more contrast the colors are more like uh a little bit more saturated 
not oversaturated, but I really like it. That is your choice as well. This is the way I like it. So you might want to try it or not. Over here, it has enhanced viewing angle. So this option, it's for you guys to have better viewing angles. Although this TV, I think it looks nice. It looks beautiful. And I also noticed when I turn this option on, the colors, uh, especially like the blacks get a little darker. It's just a little tiny bit, but you still notice that. Over here in color space, I use this a native right now. This is a SDR or standard dynamic range. But when I switch to an HDR game, then it'll go to uh, automatic. Calibration settings, you guys have access to calibrate your color tuner just in case if you want to professionally calibrate this TV. White balance, you got 20 point and two point. Gamma, I have it at 2.2. I like it like this. You also can calibrate the gamma as well. And then that's it. Apply this picture settings to current source. And that's pretty much it, guys. All right, so now that the settings are out of the way, let's go play some games, right? Let's do this. All right, guys, so first I'm gonna start playing Doom on, oh my God, this game is crazy. Right now I'm in a, in a bit of a situation. I'm running no on ammo. But, oh my goodness what is this let me see if I can change to a different weapon first of all some of you guys suggested what games you want me to test and this was one of it and I gotta say that it looks absolutely beautiful It feels very responsive as well, so I have no complaints about that. Uh, what am I missing about this? Oh, I think I have to go this way. I made it to the other side of the wall. Now this game, it is playing with HDR, so I'm going to show you what changes, right? Let's go check it out real quick. So let's go to settings, picture. Yes, so I'm playing HDR game as well. You have different settings, but you also have the option for HDR. Over here, the contrast, I have it at 80. Brightness at 50, color 55, and sharpness at 5. Let's go over here, advanced settings. Now, I did change this color temperature to, to mid-low. In my opinion, it looks better like that. For some reason, it does look different, and I like it how the warm tone looks on this. And then let's go to... Oh, there was another option over here, too. Okay, active contrast. I have this one in low. If you choose high, I notice it gets a little bit brighter as well. But at low, I feel that there's better contrast and the black levels look great too. Also, right here in the backlight, this is where you can control the local dimming. So right here, I have this one on medium. If you turn it off, it gets a little uh, dimmer too. So when you put it in high... It looks great. I haven't seen any article, any particles, no uh, flickering, nothing with local dimming. So I have this one in medium. I feel that's the way it works better for me, but it's not a big difference. All right, so those are going to be some of the settings that I'm using right now. And then you know, you guys notice on top, 38, 40, 21, 60, and then HDR 10. So let's go over here. And that's it for me. I've been to this level before <laughs> and I'm stuck in this area. I don't know where else to go. So I don't even know how to open this gate. If you guys have any idea, let me know. I will truly appreciate it. All right, guys. So now let's play a little bit of Gears of War. Hopefully I don't get my ass kicked so quick. But look how beautiful this look. This TV can get very bright. 
It is rated at 700 nits of peak brightness, but let me tell you guys, it gets bright. Especially in those highlights. Oh, what? Man. You're going down in Chinatown? What is going on? I haven't played this game in such a long time that I don't know what the heck is going on. There's snow. But my god. It is also very responsive, so I like this. Where are you going? Oh, I thought I killed him. Oh my god. It feels very, very responsive, so that is very important, especially when you are gaming. Come on, let's collect this. Oh no, they got me. Wow. Colors look beautiful. I like this. I mean, 700 bucks for a 65 inch. Trust me, you're gonna love this TV. Yes, let's go break it. Let's go break it. Oh my god. That thing freezes. Them. I haven't played this game, so I don't know most of these new weapons, I guess. So anyways, guys, this is Gears 5. It looks stunning. Beautiful. I'm liking it so far. Let's change to another game, shall we? Alright guys, so now I am playing Red Dead Redemption 2. I wanted to show you how beautiful the colors look and bright this TV. I'm surprised how beautiful and bright this TV gets. But also, this game is running it with HDR and it's also locked at 30 frames per second. Now, remember I said this TV doesn't have any variable refresh rate, so I'm not using any uh, also motion interpolation or anything like that, but I still feel that it looks and feels fantastic Now another thing I notice is that the sound of this to be it sounds great for what it is Let's go over here to sound and I have this sound the uh, theater sound mode and also it has Dolby Atmos now of course this is gonna be like a virtual Dolby Atmos like a simulated but if you don't have any uh, like a sound bar or maybe a, a surround sound home theater system and you're just going to the pan on your TV this is great I do highly suggest to always at least get a sound bar because it's gonna it does make a difference but you won't be disappointed with this sound from this TV this looks beautiful amazing All right, let, now let's go, let's move to another game that is it's going to be running faster, all right? Let's jump to another game. All right, guys, so now we're going to play another game that looks beautiful right here on the Xbox One X, and that is Halo 5. So this game is running at 4K60, but with no HDR. So I just wanted to show you how beautiful games look even with no HDR. I think they still look fantastic. Oh my god, what is going on? So obviously I haven't played this game in a while too. I've been playing so many other games except for this ones, but I wanted to show you how they look either way. And this is also a first person shooter, so... Oh, there you go. Don't mess with Jolster. Oh, what? Oh my god, that will come me by surprise. Oh, from the grave! Nice! Also, guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. What do you want to know? If you want me to test specific games, let me know as well. I'll do my best. I'm also going to test the PlayStation 4. I, I only have the slim version. I don't have the Pro anymore. Because the, the Pro broke down on me. Oh, what the hell? Oh... Uh, Oh, I killed him. Oh my god, there's another one. No. Master Chief. Oh, reversal. Oh, they still got me. So now, guys, finally, we're going to play a little bit of Forza Horizon 4. This is a beautiful 4K60 with HDR. 
game right here on the Xbox One X. And of course, it looks fantastic with this TV. Now, like I said, it, it is very important to have a low input lag and fast response time to have a game running very smooth just like this one I feel like racing games are kind of demanding so I feel this is a really good example so you guys can see how this TV performs on a racing game even though I don't play many racing games but I feel like this is one of my favorite ones So anyways guys, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Let me know if you guys want to see any particular game while playing on the PlayStation. That's going to be my, my next video. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I lost... I lost control. But uh, yes, let me know if you want to see any particular game. I don't have that many games on the PlayStation 4, but I'll do my best. And show you some of the favorites especially like some of the uh, exclusive games on the PlayStation now some of you guys may ask hey Joelster is this a good TV for next gen cons next generation of consoles well keep in mind that, that this is going to be limited to 4k 60 with HDR or HD HDMI 2.0 so if you are planning on getting other features like variable refresh rate free sync uh, the ability to play with uh, 1440p and 120 hertz or 4k 120 hertz then no this is not the TV for you you might be looking at something else I have a video for that but if you don't care about that if you're fine with this uh, limitation then yeah absolutely this is a great TV for console from this generation and of course next generation as well so you'll be saving a ton of money because if you want to go for a high-end TV, 65 inch, let's say a Samsung Q80T or maybe an OLED, you're going to be spending over a thousand, uh, two thousand dollars. So, for seven hundred, seven hundred dollars, 65 inch, this is a great, great budget TV. Anyways, guys, don't forget to give a like to the chat to the video, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And as always. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Jolster. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Let's go off road! Oh shit! Jolster out! I'm unstoppable! Alright, I stop. Oh hey guys, Jolster here. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. By the way, did you enjoy this content? If you like this kind of content, if you'd like to support this channel, first off, make sure you like and subscribe. And also, you, you can become a member. Just hit that join button. You get access to some of the emojis that I created. And also, you get early access to some of my videos, the aftermath of the live stream that I do. But mostly, just want to support this channel, hit that membership program. All right, I'm working on more videos right now, so make sure you stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys. Just around.